Hi guys and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today we're going to be looking at this guy from Schleich. It's the Therizinosaurus. Now Schleich very kindly sent over a batch of dinosaurs recently and uh, we've been reviewing them all very happily. If you want to see the unboxing for that one the video is down below. Um, also check out our other Schleich videos because I think you're going to enjoy them. Anyway, I want to whisk you back to 1948 in southwestern Mongolia when an expedition discovered just the hand claws of this creature. Can you imagine their astonishment when they measured the hand claws and realised they were a metre long? That's absolutely enormous. Uh, can you imagine the sort of awe that they felt when they found these hand claws? They must have thought, what is this? And uh, now we know it's the Therizinosaurus. Um, it would have been this bipedal uh, dinosaur with massive hand claws and just a stunning look. First of all, let's get him out of his packaging. He's got this little bit of cardboard to stop his legs from warping and uh, he's also got these little plastic gloves. So here is the Therizinosaurus with his plastic gloves off and they're really just to stop the claws from warping or getting damaged in transit. Now you can see straight away this is a really bright and bold offering from Schleich. Um, it almost goes into the sort of realms of almost like a mythical beast which I think is absolutely fantastic for something that looks as exotic as this. Okay let's take a closer look at this guy. Before we get into the very close-up detail let's have a quick overview of the body of this creature. You can see there are the claws really amazing uh, sculpt on this one, all this lovely fine feathered detail and a really bright paint job, really stunning. So there we go. So let's take an even closer look. So starting off with the head sculpt you can see we've got this real mythical looking beast here. Just look at that fantastic sculpt and paint job. A real lovely mix of colours as well, we've got this bright blue, we've got this scarlet red on the feathers You've got this bright orange and red and then we've got this sort of very black area around the eye and it's really contrasted by this sort of pinprick of lime green for the eye. Beautiful and it's very glossy that lime green, gives the eye a real wet look. Also they've put this same kind of gloss on the beak which gives it that very sort of wet appearance and the skin is a bit more matte so you get this nice contrast in the sort of surface detail. As I open up the jaw you can see it's articulated which we always appreciate. And you can see there's lovely striations sculpted in the flesh between the upper and lower jaw. Inside we have a really nicely sculpted and painted tongue, individually painted teeth with nice weathering. And on the roof of the mouth, you can see it's been painted too. And actually they've bothered to do almost like the back of the throat. They've sort of curved it round so that you don't just get a hole at the back of the throat, which is pretty cool. I think that's the first time I might have seen that. Really, really nice. And as we move down the neck, you can see we've got some really nice creases running all the way down. Uh, kind of hides the fact that there's a seam there. You really don't notice that. There's a really nice combination of colours. Again, we've got this black stripe going down. We've got this bright blue again carrying on underneath. And then we've got this gradient of red going all the way down into this orangey colour. And as we move down, the creases start to turn into these feathers. You can see them there. Really nice. Then we've got these little spots, almost like leopard spots, starting to appear on the neck. As we come up to the arm, you may notice that this is articulated and it swings about 90 degrees in either direction. Now I don't know if that's because they want to make this anatomically accurate, but it's pretty cool that it's limited and does not go right the way around because it wouldn't be able to do that. Really nicely defined musculature here. Really, really nice flex shapes in there. Really, really good. And then as we come down to the fingers, you can see really nice striations running along them and really nice weathering on these claws. A really bright and bold colour scheme for the hand. They put so much work into these hands. Just a really nice attention to detail. Even the underside of the hands have been given a lot of love. You can see there's some really nice uh, little bumps and hard areas down here, uh, whereas the hands crease up and grab things that would be important to have grip on the underside of these hands. Really nice. And as we move down to the torso, you can see there's lovely feathers coming across the body here. Really nice sort of striations, creases on the underside, and really nice veining coming in from the leg. Now as we get to the leg, you can see there's feathers going down here, softening the shape of that musculature as you would expect. Got a nice creasy knee coming through, and then we transition into these bird-like feet, which are actually really nicely 
painted in bright red and green and then you've got these nicely weathered, like the claws uh, on the hand, uh, these are nicely weathered with sort of like a darker grey and white. As we move down the tail, you can see we've got some nice creases behind the leg there, nice compression lines. And then as we go down, you can see there's some really nice feathering going on here all the way down the tail. A really unique tail for a dinosaur. And I love the fact that we're seeing more dinosaur figures with feathers now. Um, it's really cool to see that. Really bright colours on here, that scarlet coming back in with orange. Just a really nice mixture of colours, very bright and bold, very bird-like. And I like that a lot. On the underside, actually, he has got some splashes of green coming in. And uh, this reminds me very much of like a 1980s dinosaur figure. And I like that. It gives it sort of like a nostalgic quality. I think that's quite cool. A bit more definition of the musculature on this side. Um, but again, the feathers kind of soften that. They'd be like a fluffy layer on the outside, like you get on a bird, um, which means that you wouldn't be able to see the musculature as clearly as you would on, say, the arms here. Moving down, you can see again, lovely sculpted Toe claws, a lovely mix of colours, blues, greens, reds, really nice. And then moving up to the arm again, we've got the articulation. This Therizinosaurus is wearing a really nice uh, little bracelet here with warning choking hazard on it. It must have been fashionable in the prehistoric uh, late Cretaceous. And then as we move up to the neck, you can see there's some lovely creases going on underneath. Some more leopard spots and they're all carried on all over the body. And then back to that marvellous sculpted and painted head. Okay, so how big is this thing? I've got the tape measure here. Uh, in terms of length, we're looking at about 8 inches, which is about 20 centimeters, which is pretty big. And then in terms of height, you're looking at a whopping about 9 inches tall, which is 23 centimeters. So this is actually a really big figure. Size comparison time, let's bring in the Pentaceratops by Schleich. We have reviewed this guy on the channel, link down below. It's a smashing colorful figure and these two really complement each other in terms of their colors. They look fantastic and fiery together. Uh, but it gives you a good idea how big this Therizinosaurus is. And seeing as we're looking at colorful dinosaurs, let's bring in the Chaos Effect Compstagnathus to give you another idea of how big this guy is. So the Compstagnathus comes up to sort of just under the Therizinosaurus's chin. But actually, I think these two guys complement each other quite well. They're really brightly colored. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at the Schleich Therizinosaurus. I think this is a fantastic, bold addition to your collection. I'm a big fan of the Therizinosaurus, and I think they've gone for a really individual and striking take on this figure. I'm so glad it's part of my collection. And uh, I think if you're looking for something striking to add to your dinosaur collection, this is one you don't want to miss. Okay, guys, uh, what do you think of this figure? Do you own him already? Uh, let me know, as always, in the comments below. And in the meantime, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.